players off guard here to, to even the numbers. Can't really fault him for that in a situation like this. With Dozier's rotation, they know it's going to be A now. So Mo's going to do what he can, and Flamey didn't even have a gun out there, and Mo's managed to get two. In the meanwhile, both Dozier and Adren have moved around into position, simple. Scratching his head, wondering what the hell just happened as he jumps down, he gets peeped, but still able to land the headshot. But at this point, it really does come down to whoever lands the next bullet. Both players exceptionally low. Simple, trying to play with the bomb a little bit, throws out the smoke, gets caught with his pants down, but able to spray with the M4, and Simple gets the clutch. And you're probably going to spam the front and uh, kind of leave it at that if you don't get an immediate kill. And Simple, super aggressive into love stuff it. in mid. You've got to love that, man. What? Whoa, Simple. Jesus Christ! Bit of a madman. Dual peak. Now the smoke is gone, though, Van. That sanctuary is no longer on the cards. He's trying to tap round corners, trying to wall bang as best as he can. But now there's 10 seconds. He's going to have to shift gears. He's going to have to push the go in button. And he's got himself one frag. Only four seconds left. He's going to have to push simple right now. Simple's playing ring around the rosy. But it's going to be the round going the way of Gambit with literally half a second to go. <laughs> well deserved hug for Edran right there. Playing that so patiently. Oh. This, this is potential suicide. Time's not necessarily working. Left yep. then. I mean, I don't know what to make of this. Oh, well, they're still. They still don't have time. Yeah, they don't have time to play the bomb. They have to find the, the last player, but that's playing. What have you done? That is. That is not what you like to see. A very passive positions being set up by Gambit. Yeah, neither player occupying anywhere near the site. Now Fitch is going to go lucky, but Electronic gets the better of him. Here comes Hobbit. There's a flashbang. That may have actually been a CT flashbang that just ruined Flamey. And it's going to be now down to Hobbit trying to land the spray. Electronic is on 73 health and he's on the prowl, but it's going to be perfectly played by Hobbit, who will win this round for Gambit. Simply put, if they don't win this round, then Na'Vi will win. Doja still has a Molotov here that he can throw back in. And regardless of what corner he chooses to throw it in, it's going to play a massive part because Navi are stacking up with two players on each end of the site. Oh, and he's throwing it towards the new box. It's going to do loads of damage. Electronics on 11 health. The time is going down ever so quick, though. And now Zeus has so many different angles he has to watch out for. He's going to get overwhelmed. Electronic in shadow. How many kills is going to get? None! Gambit with the perfect retake. Take us into second overtime. Members to deal with here from the side of Gambit. Assuming the pop flash coming out from Mo. This time he's not going to get himself unluckily killed. Oh, Electronic with three. Turning this round in favor of Na'Vi all by his lonesome butt. Time, Hold though. the phone for a second. Although it's very low on time, it's going to be Na'Vi winning the round all thanks to Electronic. And we're going to see the B play, B execute coming in really early actually for Na'Vi. Now it remains to be seen how successful Mo can be in the defense. Oh, Electronic just runs straight through Raw and he's going to get punished. As back comes Mo for another one. He's showing no signs of weakening or tiring out. Three kills. I've got the bomb planted again in overtime. It simply doesn't matter when you've got 16k. Now simple. Can we pull off a massive clutch? There's another one there lining up for him. He's trying to tap his way to victory. There's another frag. He's actually on for the ace and the clutch as well. And can Mo spoil the party? No, he can't! Simple goes astronomical and will clutch the round out in quadruple overtime. 2v4. There we go, yeah, Simple knows what he's done right there. He's feeling good about himself. <laughs> Rather quiet, actually, so far. Of course, he goes back in for more. Maybe he gets a bit too greedy, a bit too carried away, and that's leaving Flamey in a horrible predicament. And there was two separate angles for him to watch out for. Solid that Adren jumps up there instead. But now, as Houston Electronic moving into position, there's not too much time left, but the bomb is gonna get planted. Dozy goes in for a frag. Electronic up to the plate. What can you do? He's not going to expect Adren to his right-hand side. It's going to cost him his life. All even again. As we move through into the second half. Who decides to step things up a mark when his team's back are against the wall. Dozy with a free frag. He's going to be looking for a second. Lands it as well. It's all on Simple. He's going to go for the full-on defuse, but it's going to be a 10-second defuse that that Simple's going to eat this nade right to the face, and it goes down. And that's going to be Gambit taking the match in the 59th round. Absolutely unreal. Doja doing it in style to end it all as well. And somehow Gambit make it back all the way from a 13 to 5 deficit to close out the game. And uh, I think we got to see pretty much every aspect of CS throughout that game.
I can't even begin to imagine what is going through Na'Vi's mind right now. To go the distance, almost two full maps of CS to lose, that, that has to be heartbreaking. Oh, it definitely do. Especially when you have that big of a lead as well. It feels like you're invincible at that point. There's no way you should be able to, to, to mess this up.